Okay, I've, uh, I just want to grab the camera and make a quick little video here. As you can see, the milling table is coming along nicely. Um, I've got a little coating of oil on it. Ultimately, it'll have uh, some paste wax on it and buffed out a little bit so it should shine a little bit more. But uh, it came out real nice, and then I took, I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but um, I took a file and I radius, or well, didn't radius, but I chamfered all these edges here just to give it a little bit, uh, a little bit of a finished look, and so, and so there's not that sharp edge that gets dinged. So that came out real nice. Took about 45 minutes with a, a metal file to just do it by hand and some uh, some of the blue Dicom steel blue. There's the file over there. So did that and uh, chamfered all the top edges which uh, just super minor I mean like five thousandths or something. So uh, shouldn't affect anything on the using the mill but it does give a little added protection to the edge. And then all of this hardware stuff from the mill which uh, I just dumped into that uh, evapo rust, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with how it came out. I mean, I just dumped it into a stainless steel pan uh, or a pot, rather, I guess, and um, left it for four or five hours. So you can see here's the this fast uh, feed on the spindle, the, the lever without the ball, of course, and then here's the carriage or the um, I guess the x-axis uh, stop for the table and then some, my, a couple of my hold downs were rusty so I tossed those in um, these are the little uh, handles here which you know every time I see them there they look chrome when I see people's pictures of their restored mills so I don't know what's going on I'm, I'm gonna try to polish them I guess um, but I may end up just bluing them I don't know they seem like raw metal so uh, and then some hold down bolts and one of the acorn nuts that was a little rusty and then you can see all the T uh, bolts just came out beautiful I mean they were all rust surface rusted like crazy and then I've got a few hard inch um, collets and then some other ones that I think they're Pratt or something like that I can't remember without looking at them but and then the handles this one still a little, a little rough around the edges this one did pretty well, and then the and then the knee. Um, it's, I don't know what kind of finish they got going here, but I'll see what I can do with that. And then this little guy. Uh, this is the what is this? The lock for the uh, the belt lock, I guess you would call it. The handle for the belt lock. It's uh, it came out pretty good actually, considering all things considered. But um, I, I might have to make another one of these on the lathe or something. It looks a little bit nicer, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe just use that one. The chrome is really where things got hit. So anyways, that's it uh, for now. And then, um, like I say, I think I'm going to have to break out the, the gun blue and uh, blue up these um, T-slot bolts. Um, can't really polish them, so yeah, i probably have to blue those and the nuts and and some of this hardware and like I say I, you know I could swear that these things were all polished on people's mills I don't know if they had if you could get them with different options or not but uh, maybe maybe people are just polishing them and and use them in that way so anyway uh, tomorrow I'll probably polish stuff up and uh, at least on some of this stuff and see how it looks and then if it if that doesn't work then I'll I'll just go probably go ahead and blue them and put a little coating of oil on them, so. All right, that's it for now. I'll, uh, I'll get back to work tomorrow and try to get the, uh, the Y-axis uh, assembly off. I gotta remove the, one of the lead screw, or the little lead screw nut that uh, this lead screw runs on, so, because it's holding it in there, so. Once I take that out, I should be able to slide it off and then that'll be, the next thing to clean up and then I obviously I have some more work to do on this I focused mainly on the top and got as, as good as I could without really changing the tolerances I, I put a digital caliper on it and it's like within half a thousandths across the the whole length here so it seems like it's pretty good okay that's it